Have you ever struggled with white balance for your photos or video? You go out for a shoot, you bring all the footage back, you bring all the photos back, you throw them onto your computer, you start working on them, you're working on them for a while and maybe you go grab lunch, maybe you come back and you look at them and you say, ah, these are all wrong. Today I'm gonna share with you one super simple tip to know that your white balance is correct so, so you never have to worry about white balance again. And if that idea sounds good to you, hit that like button below, that is super helpful for me and a massive thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Epidemic Sound. I'll talk more about them at the end of the video but they are the leader in YouTube music licensing, the soundtrack for this channel and there's a free trial in the first link of the description, totally free, go in there for 30 days, download music, make videos, put them on your channel all all free i don't see why you wouldn't okay today we are going to be using a, a very simple tool the one that i have is a little expensive but it's because it has some more features to do to do some other things but the tool that you need to get your hands on is a neutral white card i put some links to them down below they range in price again this is this is an expensive version right here this is the the x-rite color checker passport photo edition. I just ordered the video edition today, which is what made me think to make this video for you guys. But this is the photo edition and on the first page of this guy right here is a bunch of color references. This is so I can take all these colors, I can take a photo of them, I can bring them into Lightroom and I can actually create a custom calibrated color profile for whatever camera I'm shooting, for whatever lighting I have. My colors will look exactly how they're supposed to look. So that's why I sprung to, to get the more expensive version. It's also in this super dope plastic Thick hard case that's really thin. I just kind of slide it in my bag, doesn't take up a lot of room, pop it out whenever I need it. Yeah, it is a little pricey though. I think it's like $130 or $140 for this version. Again, though, in the description below, you'll see links to, to much more affordable options that, that will do the same thing. And what we are talking about today, which is on this page, ah, this guy right here, this up here is neutral white, and this down here is middle gray. They're both super useful. We are gonna focus on this one up top. And it's it's just a white balance tool. Okay, so how do we use a neutral white card? It's it is super simple. So each time you go out for a video shoot or a photo shoot, in each lighting scenario, you are gonna have your subject hold this up next to them just like this. If you're doing video, you're just gonna film like two or three seconds with it right here. If you're doing photos, take two or three photos with this in it, then you are gonna close this up, put it back in your bag or back in your pocket, and then just shoot away. And because you have the images or the few seconds of video with this in there, you've captured the white balance info for that scene. And then to use that, you are gonna go into pretty much every major editing software. And when you look for white balance, there's gonna be a little eyedropper tool. You take that eyedropper tool, you pull up your reference photo or video that has the neutral white card in it and you take that little eyedropper tool and you click on it. That's it. Perfect white balance. And then you just take those white balance settings and you paste them across all other photos shot in those same lighting conditions. And same thing for video, you're going to set white balance off those two, three seconds and then just paste that to all other shots that were in that same lighting condition. Now you might like an image that's a little bit warmer or a little bit cooler. You might like to push your greens or push your magentas a little bit. That's totally up to you. That's a preference thing. That's a style thing. You could do that. But in order to do that, the best place to start is is from a proper white balance using the neutral white card. Now the caveat here is that you need to use this every time the lighting changes. So now in a very controlled situation like this, I have one light here, I've got one light. This is not gonna change. I can sit here for three, four hours and nothing will change. So I only have to do this one time. I hold it up before one of these shots. I do this and, and then I'm ready to go. I put it away and I shoot my video. But if I'm out on a photo shoot, every time that I switch spots, I'm gonna have my subject hold this up again. So if I'm shooting one spot, maybe it's backlit through some trees, I'm gonna have them hold this up. If if the sun like comes out from the cloud, maybe it was behind the clouds, now it's out the cloud. The lighting conditions have changed. I have my subject hold this up again, take another shot, and I have a reference point for each time that the lighting changes. So each time I have this held up, I then set my white balance and I copy and paste them until the next time that I see this was held up. Now some cameras can actually do this in camera. On this A7S III, I can go in there, I can hold this up in front of the camera, I can go in there, I can set a custom white balance. Now the camera's gonna put a little box right over neutral white, I'm gonna hit yes, and it's gonna set a custom white balance in camera. Now I'm still gonna have my subject hold this up, just to confirm, just to make sure that I nailed it, maybe the camera was off a little bit or this was, a, I always wanna double check and make sure that my white balance is nailed. And then if you have something like this you can also use the middle gray to set your exposure and know that your exposure is nailed but but that is for another video today we just care about white balance and for white balance you want that neutral white card it is it is super this whole thing is super helpful this 
this front part for photos, very cool. I'm super excited to get the one for video because it has some neat tricks also. But now you know about a neutral white balance card and, and you will never have to worry about white balance again because yours is, it's gonna be perfect. And then again, once it's perfect, you can tweak it and, and add your own style to it, but, but you'll know that you started perfect. I hope that helped you guys. If you did, hit that like button. Maybe maybe think about subscribing for more videos like this. And a massive thank you to Epidemic Sound. Again, the leader in YouTube music licensing. But what makes Epidemic Sound so rad, for me at least as a creator, is that it learns the songs that I'm using. And it has a recommendation engine in it that recommends me more songs like the songs that I've downloaded before, like the songs that I use in my videos. Because 35,000 music, that's a lot to go, th that's hard to find the music that you want. So once you've done that three or four or five, six times, Epidemic Sound is then gonna know this guy likes a certain kind of song. I pretty much only use instrumental songs on this. I don't have any vocals on my tracks. So Epidemic Sound isn't gonna recommend me a song where someone's singing. They know I like instrumental tracks. Yeah, check them out. First thing in the description, Epidemic Sound, free trial. Go, uh, go get signed up and grab something like this. Again, this one, it's, it's kind of expensive. There's way cheaper options that will get you very similar results. I'll see you guys soon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just turn it up like this. Did that? Oh my gosh. I thought I didn't hit the record button. Oh, my flipping heart. See, I don't, I can't see up here if it's record. I can see there's like a little gap and I can see my screen back there. That says record, this monitor does not show me that I was recording. I thought for a minute that when I stopped recording, I had, yeah.